Well, small talk with a big man this week finds us in Sydney's west. I'm here with the Mount Pritchard Sharks. As you can see, the team are going through their final drills behind me here. But I'm here today with Sue, who is this week's nominee as McDonald's champion of play. Now, I understand, Sue, this club was gone, but you've come in and you've resurrected it. Yes, I did. I did that three months ago. Now we have two teams for this season, and hopefully next season we'll have a couple of more teams. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. Well, every club needs someone like Sue, particularly. That's the reason that your club is going to get the $1,000 from McDonald's this week. Well, I think it's time we go inside and produce some magic with Small Talk with the Big Man. Are you with me, team? Yeah! Come on, let's go. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> Well, team, it's great to be here with you guys, the Mount Pritchard Sharks. Now, who's your favourite player? Who's my favourite player? Me. You, you're your favourite player. What do you like about yourself? Well, I tackle hard hmm. and I score. You've got lots of tries. Yeah. What about you, champ? Who's your favourite player? Jared Hayne. Jared Hayne from the Titans. OK, what about little buddy on the right on the back? Brad Fiddler from Roosters. Brad Fiddler from the old days. Yeah. Can anyone go back further than that and name a real old player from the old days? My brother used to play, he used to play back in the 80s. Really? How old's your brother? 22. Jeez, that's incredible. He played in the 80s and he's 22. Wait, incredible. he's a kid and he's... No, he's not a kid. He's not a kid, he's 22, mate. Oh, he's a teenager. No. no, he's an adult. He's, a, he's not a teenager, because a teenager oh, a... is from 13 to 19. Oh, man, that's <laughs> Learning something every day here. Let me talk about something. Yeah. This one, yeah. this has okay. been going on for hours. Yeah, it has. You're right. What do you want to talk about? Well, girlfriends. You want to talk about girlfriends? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Who's got a girlfriend here? I got one for morning, one for lunch, and one for night. <laughs> that, my friend, is beautifully worked out. We're going head to head today on Small Talk Brain Strain. Two magnificent competitors. On my left, I have Eric, and on my right, I have Luke. Now, for their buzzers today, because you're the sharks, Eric, could you do the sound of the Jaws music like din 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 din? Great work. Now, Luke. Because you're Mount Pritchard, I would like you to do the sound of someone jumping off a cliff with a parachute on, saying, Geronimo! Geronimo! Great work. Today, I'm going to introduce Brain Strain in Welsh. And a big hello to all my Welsh fans out there. Well, boys, it's now time to play Skush Bash Ermanid Strain. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Gough Whitlam once lived in this area. Who was Gough Whitlam? He was probably one of the most important men in Australia. What do you think that might have been? Geronimo! Yes. It might be a golfer. Golfer? <laughs> it rhymes with Gough? Yeah. No, he's not a golfer. He might have been, but he wasn't famous for being a golfer. Wait, wait, I think I know what he did. Geronimo! Good. Basketball? <laughs> he wasn't a sportsman. Nothing. Oh, yes. Football? He <laughs> was like the boss of Australia. What's the boss of Australia do? Oh, that means he's a president. Well, we don't have presidents. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. He's the crime something of Australia. OK. Geron. Geronimo, um, yeah. Minister. Yeah, well, give us the whole. What is he? You've got I to don't say. Know if the he runs a shop. No, he doesn't run a shop. No. <laughs> no, you had it. He's the prime, and then there's the minister with it. So he's the prime minister. Who wants to buzz in? <laughs> prime minister. Yes, prime minister. Okay, here we go. Speaking of prime ministers, who is the current? Prime Minister of Australia. George Washington. That's not George Washington. <laughs> Starts with M and rhymes with Telcom. OK, Geronimo. Yep. Malcolm. Malcolm, good. That's his first name. We've got his first name. Oh. Malcolm something Earnbull. Bull. 
want to do? Dodo? Dodo? No, you're not listening. That's something earned ball with a letter in front of it. Milk earn? Milk earn ball? <laughs> it starts with T and ends in earn ball. Wait, milk and tea? Milk to? Milk to? Milk and to ring? Say earn ball. Earn ball? Okay, put a T in front of it. What is it? Earn ball two. Earn ball, earn ball with a T in front. Earn ball two. Earn ball two. Earn ball two. No, you put a T. You should have put a T. Wait, wait. Geronimo. Earn ball. Earn ball. Like earn ball. Earn ball. Earn ball. Buzz in. Ding, 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 yes. ding. Earn ball. Earn ball, yeah, what's his first name? Geronimo, good. First name was Malcolm. Geronimo. Yep. Malcolm Turnbull. Correct. Great work. Who's Malcolm Turnbull? What is he? <laughs> I've got another question for you. Ready to go? Now, according to the 2016 census, What's the population of Mount Pritchard? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait Can wait. you say it again? Yep. How many people do you think live in Mount Pritchard? Oh. Din, din. Yep. Din, din. Um, 12? How many people live in Mount Pritchard? Geronimo. No, a bit off. Geronimo. Yes. 5,000? More, more than 5,000. Oh. Yes, din, mate? Din. Yes. 2,065? It's just under 10,000. Ding, ding. Yes. Ding, ding. 10, 090. <laughs> Geronimo. Geronimo? Okay. 10,000 at 89. It's under 10,000. I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you. The number is 9955. But can you tell me what that is? Geronimo. John. Yes. 90. 95... 9. Ding, ding. Okay, ding, what ding. are those numbers again? 9,555. Five. How much Nine, is that? Ding, yes. Ding, ding. 950. Oh. Yes. 9,000 and... 900. 900. And? And... 5,000. 9,000. 9,000. And 25, 50. 53. 55. Yeah. 955. No, no, no. You forgot the 9,000. Oh, 9,000. Yes. And 55. No, it's not the 900 then. Oh, okay. Okay. 900. And 9,000. Oh, okay, 9,000. And nine two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of that. Look, it's that. nine thousand nine hundred and what? Oh, nine nine thousand and nine hundred and, and fifty five. Yes, yes, right, yes. Nine thousand nine hundred and fifty five. But that could have changed in the period of time we got to get to that answer. I'm sure there's more people around here now than what there was ten minutes ago. But good work. Well done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that could go down in the annals of one of the greats. But there can only be one winner, and the winner is... Luke. Congratulations, mate. Shake hands, boys. Well, how good was that? And a big thank you to McDonald's for supporting Grassroots Rugby League. As you can see, the team and myself are decked out in these magnificent jackets, compliments of Zabara, who make quality sporting goods for all sporting clubs. Well, I'm going to be on the road again next week for another great edition of Small Talk with the Big Man. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> and if you'd like us to come to your junior club, go to the 9now.com.au slash NRL footy show website and hit the Get Involved tab. Thanks to our great mates at McDonald's, they give out $1,000 every week. So tell us what your club...
could do with the money, along with who you nominate as the McDonald's champion of play. Uh, we do want to hear from you, but it's probably a bit late this year. We'll do it next year. But it's well good done, stuff. kids. Well done, Daryl. It's yeah. a beauty, that good. one. Very Very good. Good. All right, it's now time for our first instalment of this year's Dark Room. Let's just remind.